Alright, welcome back. I believe this is the third video in the Android development series. If you missed the previous videos, I'd go take a look at those so you know what's going on. In this video, I plan on installing a phone emulator for Android Studio so we're able to test our future apps. So let's get started. To install an emulator in Android Studio, we're going to come up to this top toolbar and next to this app dropdown, we have another dropdown. Now I don't know what yours looks like because I already have one selected here but we're gonna click this dropdown and click the Open AVD Manager. We're gonna click that and we'll get a new window that appears. It's your Virtual Device Manager. So if we come down to the bottom left-hand corner, we're gonna click Create Virtual Device. And within this window, we're able to select a few things. We can create a virtual TV, phone, a watch, a tablet, or even the automotive. But for this series, we're gonna use the phones. So I already have the Pixel 3, so I'm just gonna install the Pixel 2. We come down and click Next. Then we can choose our operating system. I'm just going to have Oreo because I already have it installed. Going to click Next again. And then here we can give it a name, but I'm just going to keep everything the default and then just click Finish. And then this will begin creating your virtual device and you just have to wait for it to install. I should mention though that if you have a slower computer and you actually have an Android device, I would highly recommend that you actually just use your physical device than downloading a virtual one because it will be really taxing on your computer. To do that, all you have to do is connect your phone to a USB cable. Then when we go to run our app, you'll just come up here and your physical device will actually be listed here and you can just click that and then we'll be able to run it from there. But if you don't have an Android device, no worries. You just download an emulator and it's gonna function as if you had a real phone plugged into your computer. Once you actually have your emulator or your physical device is plugged into your computer, we're going to come up to the top here, select the one that you want to use. I'm going to use the Pixel 3. And then before I do that, I'm going to delete this button. And then we're going to run the program that was automatically created by Android Studio. We're going to do that by coming up right next to the drop down where we pick the device that we want to run the program on. And then right there, we have a little play button. You're going to click that. And then if you have a physical device plugged in, it should install this app on there and then automatically open it. But if you don't, and you have the emulator, you'll see that we'll get a little phone that pops up here. Let me close that. Now the app should be on either your physical device or the emulator and running. This is where we're gonna be doing all of our testing, making sure the layout's correct, the functionality's working. And one plus side of using the emulators over the physical device is that we're able to download different devices and making sure that the layouts look the same throughout all of the devices. So I could take this and run it on the Pixel 2. I might not have a Pixel 2, but I can test it on that device because we have it downloaded as an emulator. All right, so that should be enough for this video. I just wanted to get everyone exposed to the Android phone emulators. In the next video, we're gonna actually start creating our first application. It'll be really basic, so don't worry about it. As always, if you're having any trouble with something or you need further explanation on a topic, just leave a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.